Virtualization is a pretty common tool for us by now. If we need to run Windows or Linux on a Mac, we create a virtual machine and have pretty much the same experience as using Windows or Linux installed on bare metal. Yeah, it's getting that good. Well, with the arrival of Apple Silicon late last year, those of us who virtualized suddenly faced a dilemma. Should we stick with a good old trusted Intel-based Mac where there are many options for virtual environments like um, you have UTM, VirtualBox, VMware, Parallels, and there may be a bunch of other ones. And should you stick with it for at least a number of years, or should you boldly go and jump off a cliff and hope that big virtualization software vendors will update their software and catch up before we go splat? So in this video, I wanna go into some available options for Apple Silicon users as of right now. And uh, there aren't that many, actually. All those things I mentioned earlier, well, some of them work, some of them don't, some of them are working on it. I'll go into it in a little bit. I fully expected that all the major players will have Apple Silicon versions of their prosumer virtualization products ready, at least in the first few months. And I was um, wrong. <laughs> Only one did, Parallels. And their Parallels desktop software, and that's the package for consumer or prosumer type of software. I don't know if that's the right word, prosumer. Anyway, that's the word I'm using. Parallels Desktop has been improving ever since it came out. Now they have version 17, which came out just about a month or two ago, I think, at this point. I reviewed it on this channel earlier. You can go check that video out. You really can't tell that you're running on Apple Silicon or Intel-based virtual Windows. The only thing that gives it away is that not all Windows software is ARM ready yet, so it won't work well on ARM Windows. That's what you have to use if you're using Apple Silicon machine with Parallels. You have to use Windows for ARM. And if you want to use Linux, you got to use Linux for ARM. And if you want to use x64 based software on a Windows for ARM machine, <laughs> you're going to rely on Windows, on virtualized Windows to translate from x64 to ARM while being virtualized. So the performance is not that great. And I gave an example using Visual Studio 2022, which is an x64 based software package uh, running on Windows for ARM. It works, but not that great. You can check that video out as well. I'll link to it down below. So my question is, why is Parallels sitting on their hands during this amazing opportunity to onboard a ton more people by offering a free tier? This is pretty common now in software where you offer a free version, maybe, um, I don't know, something that's scaled down. Now, I don't work for Parallels and I don't know what their plans are. Perhaps they've considered this already, of course, but for some reason or another, don't feel like it's the right move for them. Could be, I don't know, because if somebody buys a brand new Apple Silicon Mac and spend that kind of cash, then they could spend the extra 80 bucks for parallels if they really need it. I don't know. They do offer a pretty generous two week free trial period, and that should be enough for most people to take it out for a spin and see what it can do. Link in the description below, by the way, if you want to download a copy. And you've probably already seen a bunch of YouTube videos, including ones on this channel about how well Windows runs on it, there's people like Andrew Tsai that are testing games that run pretty well on Apple Silicon on Windows using Parallels. So yeah, it works and it works quite well. But really, they're the only player in town. And if they offered a free version, even with less features, it seems to me that so many people would jump on board on this opportunity. VMware keeps threatening that they will soon release an Apple Silicon compatible version. And some have even said that they did, but then I can't really find a landing page anywhere that gives me a button that says, download the Apple Silicon version of VMware Fusion right here. I mean, look, here's the VMware landing page for VMware Fusion. And uh, I mean, you got to dig down here and you can see Fusion 12, here we go, hardware requirements, all Intel based Macs launch in 2012 or later are supported, okay? With the exception of the following Macs are not supported. Macs based on Apple Silicon CPUs, okay? <laughs> so they're saying on the VMware Fusion page that they don't support Apple Silicon. Of course, if you dig around and you find a blog post by Michael Roy, this is the blog post uh, that some of you commenters uh, pointed out to me. It's just a blog post with a link. Sure, okay, there's a button right there. It's a link. It says download Fusion for Apple Silicon Now. It's some kind of a private tech preview. Okay, so basically it's not something that's widely available. Yes, it seems like they're working on it, so good on them, but it's not, I mean, they're, they're pretty far behind, right? Maybe this is not a priority for them. And by the way, even with this download, I've seen some really hacky ways of getting this to work by jumping through all kinds of hoops. That same Andrew Tsai I mentioned before, check out his channel. He has a video where he basically tries to install this if you're curious to give it a try. I'm not gonna bother because it's not a production ready version. So what's the point? Another one that's pretty popular that has been pretty popular for a number of years is UTM. 
It's a free ARM alternative, but from what I've seen, the performance is just not very usable. If you go to the UTM website, here it is. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple. Looks like, uh, you know, it's just bare bones. It's supposed to work. It says it supports ARM, that's fine. But if you scroll down here, UTM is free and open source, which is great. However, this last paragraph right here, it says, can I run games? Maybe you don't care about games. Maybe all you wanna do is just uh, develop software. So maybe that'll work for you. But this paragraph right here says, can I run games? No, probably not. UTM does not currently support GPU emulation slash virtualization and therefore lacks support for 3D acceleration. So that tells me that it's kind of half-baked and it's basically not going to work well with any kind of graphically intensive applications and possibly have performance issues displaying things like, uh, I don't know, your IDE environment's UI. I'm not going to say it doesn't work. And if you've tried it and you know otherwise, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe it's something worth trying and I can do that on this channel. But a statement like that tells me, okay, well, I have parallels. Why, why would I even bother with this? Then <laughs> there is the VirtualBox option, right? So VirtualBox isn't even heading in that direction at all. And that's unfortunate because VirtualBox had a lot of fans. So if you go to the website, the home page of VirtualBox says, VirtualBox is a powerful x86 and AMD64 slash Intel 64 virtualization product. The first sentence right there, that's what we are. We are for Intel 64 and x86, and there's no mention of ARM. If I search for ARM, nothing here. So they're not even trying to go in that direction. Now I did dig around a little bit more and I found this ticket open on VirtualBox website and it says Apple M1 chip runs VirtualBox but does not support 64-bit systems within VirtualBox. So basically that's not going to work. The software itself will run but it won't run anything inside of it as a virtual machine. So no point. Look, Parallels Desktop works beautifully and they've had an upper hand for most of the year. I think they were even featured in the keynote last year, WWDC at Apple's keynote as the vendor for virtual machines on Apple Silicon. Now, who knows how long they'll still have an upper hand, maybe another year, maybe less. In the meantime, why not have a pared down free version? I think it would be a right move for them to do. Well, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, just some thoughts and some options. Well, not really options. You have one option right now, and uh, maybe soon you'll have two options. <laughs> just some thoughts about Parallels and what I think would help out everybody. A free version? Come on. If you agree, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> I know that was sneaky. And if you like this kind of content, uh, do hit that subscribe button for more content like it. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.